The main user interface is broken up into several areas. Firstly, we have the title bar, which gives you access to common operations like open, save, export, convert. And then we have the ribbons. The ribbons give users access to all of the application commands, and these are grouped into logical sections. So all of the element commands are located on the elements ribbon, and the same is true for mesh and geometry and so on. This means the users can quickly find the tool they need using their sensible grouping in the ribbons. Hyperworks also gives users access to several different tools in the one user interface. So at the moment we're using HyperMesh, but in the top right of the screen, we can create multiple windows and those windows can have different tools or clients. These might be motion view for building multi-body models or some of our post-processing tools such as HyperGraph and HyperView. These can be easily added to, renamed, and the sorting and display of the windows can also be changed really easily. On the left of the screen, we have browsers. So browsers allow for a more detailed view of the model. So this um, contains like an overall view of the model, but really gives dedicated views for certain processes and workflows. So the model browser gives detailed information about the model contents. The solver browser gives us detailed information about solver specific setup. And I have the mesh control browser open, which gives us detailed control of all of our mesh settings. Many workflows in Hyperworks take advantage of browsers to help manage the models more efficiently. At the bottom of the window, we have view controls. So this lets us set how the model is displayed. We can set things like cameras, mesh and geometry visualization, section views, the view lock, and we can control how the model is displayed and colored. By default, Hyperworks will do all of this for us automatically, but the user has the control they need. And then finally, we have the graphics area where we can interact with the model, rotate, select, and interact with the model. And this helps us supply selections to all of the application commands and also visualize the model and interact with it in a, an efficient way.